Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Subsection A, UG 32. Understanding, ellipsoidal head, according to ASME code. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. This is typical two is to an elliptical head. Now, guys, you know, uh, when you talk about elliptical head, what is an ellipse? What is the definition of ellipse? Anybody can tell? It will have, uh, see Akash, uh, you are defining 2 is to 1. But I can have an ellipse with any ratio, right? Apart from 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1 is, uh, you know, a ratio. The ratio can be anything, right? So this will have two different, the two extreme radius, we can say. You know? One will be major axis and the second will be minor. What about in between? See the minor radius. Okay. If we talk about see uh, minor axis, if we say there the radius will be the largest. The major axis will have the smaller radius. Okay. What about in between points? What radius will be at the points which are at this locations? What about this? What will be the radius of this? So this will have the max because it is coming at the minor axis. This will have this point will have the smallest radius because this is coming at the major axis. What about these points? What radius? Whether they will have any particular radius or it will be varying at each and every point. What is your opinion? Okay, Satya saying, is it a spline curve? You tell me, Satya. So simple question, what do you think? Uh, Padmanathan is saying not varying. Means there will be constant radius of uh, Padmanathan. If you are saying not varying, means at each and every point, there will be single radius or there will be multiple radius. So Akash is saying based on division, how we divide? Crown radius till knuckle. Okay, so mainly we are getting confused with a typical ellipsoidal head and a semi ellipsoidal head okay when we see when we refer the typical ellipsoidal head which is standard ellipsoidal head okay that will have each and every point it will be varying okay that is the definition of ellipse right that that is how we'll get the maximum radius at this point and minimum at this in between each and every point the radius will vary that is a true ellipse no. now to just give more insight i like you to take this as a homework remember how we used to draw this ellipsoidal head do you remember because if that is clear you will be understanding what point i want to make so if you have forgot just try to see the procedure to uh, draw a standard ellipse right so each and every point there will be change in radius but now if that is happening can i use that shape for fabrication it will be difficult right because each and every point i have to maintain a different radius so each and every point needs to be checked so anything is possible in fabrication but there will be cost attached to it. We can make that. We can change it at each and every point. We can do machining also. Too much manufacturing cost, which is not required. So what ASME has done that they have converted, particularly that 2 is to 1. Now, why we talk about 2 is to 1 more? See, 2 is to 1 will simply the ratio of the major and minor axis. If that is in 2 is to 1 ratio, we call it as 2 is to 1 ellipse. 
yes major to minor why we talk more about two is to one so we talk so much that you know indirectly when we say ellipse we generally write two is to one okay we always write two is to one ellipse instead of writing ellipse because it is too much in our use we always use two is to one why is that you will come to know when you calculate the thickness okay the thickness which you get for shell and two is to one ellipsoidal head that matches very close closely there will be not much difference in terms of thickness when you use two is to one okay the shell thickness yes so no taper will be required most of the time i'm saying okay it may happen that slightly taper may be required okay in some cases but it will not be a much variation so if too much variation is there in the thickness finally it results into the discontinuity stresses at the junction right so and we do we calculate discontinuity stresses at this junction like whenever we do calculation as per division one we never do that so we are ignoring the stresses so try to select a shape which will give you less stresses okay so that you don't have to be worried too much okay that is the reason in division one we try to find such design that the criticality will be less it will be more uniform so that we can prove that with design by rule we can simply calculate them if we do if we calculate uh you know uh, very if we, if we take very complex shape the design will become difficult by using the design by rule right you have to use very uh, too much equations that will be difficult to solve by hand so you'll have to use computer okay that is what is fea so that is the reason for using two is to one so what shape is recommended by asme instead of using a ellipsoidal head asme is finally using a torus spherical okay if you remember torus spherical will have two radius okay it is defined by two radius one is crown and the other is knuckle that is your torus spherical so asme has selected a torus spherical which matches very closely with your ellipsoidal head so crown radius and knuckle radius are derived in a such a way that the shape of this asme ellipsoidal head and actual two is to one ellipsoidal head will match very closely we'll see that we have made that figure exactly using two is to one ellipsoidal head method and by using this crown radius 90% of the d which is d is here internal diameter okay knuckle is 17% of d please remember that crown radius 90% of id knuckle is 17% of the id and we are talking about 2 is to 1 okay. and this is defined in asme ug32 if you read you will find that okay. so because it's 2 is to 1 inside def automatically becomes t by 4 okay. now this is the profile of 2 is to 1 ellipsoidal head if you remember how we draw it each and every point we first calculate the focal point and from there one two three points we try to from focal and a we'll cut that and will each and every point has to be uh, found and then it has to be connected that is how we draw in normal if you don't have software on engineering drawing boards this is how we can make that ellipsoidal head okay. but now it's easy because if you are using autocad you can just give the command for two uh, ellipsoidal head and you'll get that okay so this is the true shape okay now if i compare the regular head and the ellipsoidal head okay so the pink one 
is the regular two is to one, while the green one is with actually a torus spherical by using ninety percent of crown and seventeen percent of knuckle, we get that green. You see, it's very same. You know, very small difference. So actually it is matching and it becomes very easy to fabricate right because we have to now worried about only two radius okay so the difference if you see you know based on the dimensions which we took here i think we have taken 2500 as id and based on that we have calculated so even for 2.5 meter dia the variation maximum you will get at crown is 26 mm okay that is the maximum variation you will have. Otherwise, it will match very closely. Making sense, guys? Is it clear? I hope you understood this part. Stay tuned for more videos related to other clauses.